Hi, let's warm up. So this is some of the warm up that we do in the casino classes. The first part is five steps that allow the student to find the beat, determine what count they're dancing on, establish the cadence of the dance, and then from there, do a progression that eventually gets them stepping underneath their center, walking and pivoting, which in casino is what we're going for. There's a whole video dedicated just to those five steps if you want an in-depth breakdown. Today we're gonna add to it. We're gonna take a song from Apollo that's slow enough we could dance cha-cha-cha to it, but we're gonna use a slower tempo to go through and explain the warm-up steps in context of the music, which might be helpful for some people. If you don't get them on the first pass through with the music, after each little set of steps, we're gonna go through and show where they're used in dancing casino to give them some context within the dance itself and add some details that'll help you get more comfortable with the steps. Speaking of helpful, there's a rhythm video that has some exercises at the end in terms of finding the beat, isolating specific beats. That's going to make all this way easier. So if you're not good with rhythm, you might want to check that out like now. No? I'm going to find the a tiempo. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. That's where the two step goes. Seven. One, Three, five, seven. From there we hit the cadence, paso son. Prepare on seven. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Step, step, step. Pause. Step, step, step. Pause. Step, step, step. Pause. Step, step, step. Pause. Step, step, step. So in terms of partner dancing casino, I'd use the two step to find the beat of the music myself and then synchronize my step with the partner steps. If we were dancing with Rita, we'd have multiple couples, so we'd use the two step to make sure that everyone in the circle was on the same count. The two step's nothing more than taps and steps, but where we put them within the eight count is gonna determine when and how we step for the rest of the song. We're marking a tap on one, a tap on five. One, step out on three, five, step out on seven. One, three, five, seven. I'm gonna replace this tap with two steps with paso song. So I'm gonna pair on seven. Step, step, out. Step, step, out. Step, step, out. Step, step, out. This step, out. Out, that's gonna help me hold the pause on four. And on eight, step, step, step. Pause, step, step, step. Pause, step, step, step. Pause, step, step, step. Tap. Step, tap, step, tap, ah, ah. Step, step, ah, step, step, ah. Step, step, ah, step, step, ah. So from here, all the steps we do are gonna keep the same cadence. We're just gonna change one thing at a time to get us walking and pivoting. So the first change I'm gonna make is a small step back at the heel. Back at the heel for the first step of each set of three. I'm replacing that step together, together with a step back at the heel, at the heel. So it doesn't have to be massive, where my center is moving backwards. I just want to keep the back rock nice and tight to the heel, so I can proceed with the next change I'm going to make, which is a step across in the middle. Cross, oh, back, cross, oh. Over. So I've got my back rock where I'm just kind of in place and then I'm going to take the second step and cross it over and that's going to get me moving side to side. So if my back rock is too big, it's going to be harder to move. So I'm going to keep the back rock nice and small. Cross over, cross over, cross over. Fossil Solon establishes the cadence of the dance, which is three steps followed by a pause three steps then a pause. Alternating feet fully changing the weight with each step and not changing the weight during the pauses. And that cadence remains constant no matter what we do to the steps. So we've got paso son and then a little variation of that is the back rock with just a small step back at the heel. You can see that in closed position. It's also good practice for the follows for reasons that will be made clear in future videos to get in the habit of not back stepping too big when you're doing certain movements. The leads use the back cross step a lot when they're moving behind the follows, but really it's just getting us used to moving laterally in preparation for walking and pivoting. And then the next change I'm going to make is putting a pivot on the pause. So on four and eight, I'm going to be pivoting. Pivot, pivot. So I let the pivots hold the pause, I don't rush them. Pivot, step, 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 pivot, step, 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 pivot, step, 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 pivot, step, 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 pivot. 
So my first step is gonna be underneath my center. And then the next two steps are forward, forward, pivot. Forward, forward, pivot. Forward, forward, pivot. Forward, forward, pivot. So let's work backwards, let's take out the pivots. And we'll just use the back cross to go side to side. All right, so now we're gonna take out the crosses and go back to that back rock. So now we're gonna take out the back rocks and bring the feet together, paso song. And then we're gonna take out the steps, bring it back to a two step. Bop, 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 bop. So walking and pivoting is everywhere at the casino. The most readily available example is in shoe for turns. So if we practice the walking and pivoting step, we'll do it mirror image, we'll be going to our left. Well, hey there. I sure hope you're enjoying the video. We're about to go over the walking and pivoting step. I'm definitely not gonna overexplain it. It's one of those things that kind of makes you look like a drunk toddler if you do it by yourself, but if you have a partner and you're doing it with them, it looks pretty good. I look tired. <laughs> well, I've been up all night editing video, you silly goose. These numbers don't turn blue all by themselves on beat most of the time, same shade of blue, kinda. I mean, if you feel bad, I've got a Patreon if you wanna help support future videos. I've got a couple good ones on the way. You can get a shirt. I've got a goal that if I reach 50 patrons, I'll put out two videos a month as opposed to the every six weeks that I average now, but don't worry yourself with that right now. Let's just finish this. So I'm gonna take my left foot. It's not an automatic step forward for the first step. I'm gonna take my left foot and put it underneath my center for the first step, just right in place. Then walk forward with the right, forward with the left. And then during the pause, I'm gonna pivot, but there's no weight change during the pause. So when I pivot, I don't let the weight shift forward to the right foot. I pivot and leave the weight on the left foot. I wait until the next set of steps to take the right foot, put it underneath my center, walk forward with the left, walk forward with the right, and then pivot. Don't let the foot swing behind you like this. Leave it in front of you. Next set of steps would be left in place, forward with the right, forward with the left. Pivot, right in place, forward with the left, forward with the right. Pivot. For this next little set, we're gonna take a forward and back and a side step and change them a little bit to make them more useful for us. We'll still start from a two step. So, pa, 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 And to get into the forward and back, we gotta make sure that we prepare on five, six, seven. One, two, three. So I want to keep a good stagger on three and on seven. So I don't want to just bring the feet back to the middle together like this. I'm going to stagger them a little bit. All right. From there, I'm going to start moving myself in a circle. Again, I'm going to prepare on seven. And I'm going to be crossing in front and crossing in back. So in front with the left and then back with the right. Crossing on one, crossing on five, but making sure that you prepare on seven and on three. All right, so from here I'm gonna go to a standard side step. So out to the side, back to the middle, out to the side, back to the middle, but I'm gonna change that middle step to cross. Cross, cross. Cronk, so I'm changing my angle. Cronk, 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 cronk. The side step with the cross in the middle, the leads to that a lot when the follows on the leads right. The basic step there and exire. It's also the footwork for some swivels that the files will be doing later in more advanced turns. As far as the forward and back, it's just a variation in closed position that you can do with a partner. And we wanna make sure that when we transition to it on seven, we start to get into it. So we give them some warning of where we're going. And then the emphasis isn't really on the first step, which is a small step forward. And the emphasis is not on the back step either, small step back. The emphasis is on the stagger. So if we're dancing on one, three, and seven. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. And from there, we're gonna cross the front, cross the back. We're gonna have all kinds of fun with that but we wanna make sure that we prepare for it on those same counts, three and seven. So whatever count you're dancing on, the third step, D, D, A. So if we're going one, two, three, 
five, six, get into it on seven with a step out and in front, and it makes that cross in front easier. One, two, same thing on three, back and to the left, and that cross on five is easier. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. All right, so let's finish up by doing all the steps to everybody's favorite, Al Monte. We're gonna throw in some bonus steps we'll go over next time. For now, we'll start with the two step. Get the rhythm, get the rhythm, get the rhythm, get the rhythm. Paso song, step it out. Boom, boom. All right, we're gonna add the back rock. Crosses. And we'll take it back. Basso soul. Ah. 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 With the back rocks. Add the crosses. And we'll add the pivots. Faces dancing at the Cuban exhibit in Charlotte. Daddy is so proud. Coming down the pipe, we got a couple more videos. One of them is about cadence and timing, dancing on different counts. The other one is a continuation of this warm up where we get more into body movement, getting the torso going. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you to the first group of patrons on Patreon. Thank you to people who have been liking and commenting and sharing the videos. I truly appreciate all the support. See you on the next one. Vamos a ver un chai, el ecuador.